Welcome back to What Arty Noobs with General Disturbance. This is an Su 76 GFT. It's the Tier 4 Chinese tank destroyer and it's located on the north spawn of Cliff. And it's being commanded by Black Swan NL. Um, that's because he's Dutch, as you'd expect, with the initials NL. And, uh, well, this is an interesting battle because uh, this. RT, or this is RT, this TD, is actually the proposed Chinese variant of the Soviet Su-76. And you can see it's a fully enclosed TD. Uh, the Su-76 is actually an open one, but the Chinese enclosed it, which means this TD can use vents. It's getting into a firing position behind the bushes. Uh, okay, he's going to have a quick look, just have a quick check behind him. Who's actually looking? Okay, Zanemetz and a Matilda behind him. Always using your right hand mouse button to look around. Waiting for a target to turn up. He's got a good firing position here, but he wants to hold on to his fire until he's got something to certain to fire at. The M5 is actually behind that rock, so can't hit that. And of course, there's two tanks up there that can deal with it. The A20 and the looks and just to his left he was looking at the Matilda just moving forward join the AMX 40 the duck and there's our first thrust target for the dustman fires around at him but I think he's behind that rock there's a rock just at the other end yep didn't get a hit changing position try and get another hit and the MHA A1 go, goes down to the Matilda. Now he's going to follow them. Ah, uh, there's the target. It looks like a Hetzer. Yeah, I think he's going to have a go at that. Okay, not the Hetzer. There's actually two tanks, a T28, a Soviet Tier 4 medium. And he gets a good hit, 158 hit points. There's a P26 where which is a Tier 4 uh, Italian takes the, uh, he didn't get the kill on the uh, T-28, that went down to the Matilda. I was waiting for him to do that, I think. And couldn't get a shot on the Hetzer there, but I think he can now. Or okay, is that rock in the way? No, he's looking elsewhere. The Hetzer's moving up. He's actually firing at the P-26. Hetzer's off to the right. It's behind the rocks. Don't think he can get a shot. No. Oh, now he can, yes. Fires around in, takes the Hetzer out of the game. That's his first kill. You notice who he did that flick? Oh, good shot on the P26. He did a flick, and that's actually to get the aim round, get it centered on the target. It's also to, uh, you know, to stop the, uh, um, uh, to center up the, uh, uh, the arc of fire. Just do a quick flip like that, so it will help the aim. Okay, it's going to move up behind the Valentine. Forward. He might as well go the whole hog. In fact, no, he's actually going to go up onto the plateau and shoot down on the enemy. They have got a two tank advantage, but he can also hit a P26 up here and a Valentine tank. Yeah, he's going to move up onto this height area because that will give him a, a very good advantage over those enemy tanks over there. Can he hit them? Yes, he can get the Valentine. I'm not sure the Valentine saw him. No, that went over the top of the Valentine. Needs to center it. No, that one went over the top as well. And he got it that time. Nice shot. 121 hit points. But I'm not sure if he was seen. P26 is next time. Now, can he get a hit from here? Yes, he can. Dials in and good shot. 162. And he takes him out of the game for 56 hit points. That's his third kill. Now there's a looks up here. And he's actually doing a lot of damage. Coming up on the P26, he took a hit. Will the P26 die? He's probably got that auto cannon. Now, stop. No, he fires on the move. Unfortunately, it's not very accurate on the move. And there's another looks there. Ooh, they got the, the other looks. The, the P26 got him. 
Uh, but now they're going to have to deal with some looks, and the looks is firing him. He's taken out the P26, but he does not going to expect this. Comes up behind him, one round into him, tracks him when he turns him round, and blasts him with the next round. So that's his fourth kill. There's only four enemies remaining. Now, where are they? Well, P26 was seen down in the western uh, pass, but he's now pulled back. I think he's near the camp. So he's going to pop over the top to see if he can spot anyone. No. There! There's one. T95 and a VK. Can he hit them from here? Yes, he can. They're hiding behind rocks. Gets a good hit on the Type 95. Can finish him off next round. And he does. So that's his fifth kill. Can he get a shot on the 20? Yes, he can. I think that went in. Fires another round. Yes, he got the kill. And that's his top gun. Six kills. Doing very nicely in this battle. There's the P26. He's been seen again. He actually must have um, pulled back and then pulled forward again. I'm surprised the Matilda didn't kill him. Oh, but he has now. <laughs> That means there's only one remaining enemy, and that's the RT. And he's going to be back in the enemy cap area. And the best place for uh, Black Swan to go is to overlook the cap and wait for the, uh, his teammates to spot that RT, and then he can take him out. He's fairly safe here because he's far enough away from the RT. There's no way the RT is going to see him. So he's just aiming at this moment anywhere in that area because. All those trees are down. That's an indication somebody's there normally. The tree's been knocked down like that. Yes, he is. He got it right. Trees have been knocked down. He took out the Panzer Sebs Farfalieta B. It was hiding behind those broken trees. Yeah, always look for that. I've done it. I'm, I've actually parked behind broken trees like that. But uh, it's always a good place to check if you are uh, looking for somebody who happens to be hiding. Uh, and it's also a good place to set up a dummy, you know, and knock the trees down. Think, make people think that there's something there and go and hide somewhere else. Um, <laughs> just saying it is possible. So let's have a look and see what the end of battle stats were. And it was an ace tanker for Swan NL. A black Swan SN, uh, NL, I should say. In the SU-76G FT, or fake tank, as uh, Jingles likes to call it. Uh, <laughs> He actually got a win eight for that battle of eight six double zero, so it's very very high. He he picked up an ace tanker. Um, he got a fire for effect for dealing more damage than hit points for his own vehicle. A bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got five exactly. A high caliber for dealing the most damage in the battle, and of course the top gun for getting at least six kills, and he got seven in total. He was one short of getting the yeah, Radley Waters, but unfortunately you can't get a Radley Waters at tier four because they don't award them until you're tier five and above. So, a uh, good battle there by Black Swan, and it's the first time he's actually aced the SU-76G FT. So let's have a look at the team scores, see where he did. Well, he was top of the table damage, 1,836. He got the uh, highest number of kills, 7, and he got the highest base XP, 1,085. And that rather puts the enemy team to shame, because the best scorer on their team was uh, their looks with 231. So that's less than a quarter of uh, the XP that uh, Black Swan managed to generate. So if we look at the detail report, well, he fired 25 rounds, got 15 direct hits, 14 penetrations. Uh, so one of those shots must have gone into the tracks of the enemy or was um, uh, deflected. Uh, he also did damage assistance of 1,000, uh, sorry, damage of 1,836 hit points and uh, uh, 1,139 of that was at more than 300 meters. He damaged nine of the enemy, but killed seven of them. Um, and on a premium count, he earned 29,502 credits. And after ammunition, res uh, resupply and repairs, he took away 26,391 credits. And that's pretty good for a tier four tank destroyer. He picked up two bonds, one for the high caliber, one for the top gun. And he also earned 1,627 XP because he was on the premium count. Uh, so it's one and a half times base. And uh, that's all he took away because it wasn't the first win of the day. But a pretty good battle overall. And uh, thanks very much for supplying the replay, Black Swan. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this replay. If you did, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.